8 Ways to Hide an Asset How the Elite Keep Their Riches Out of Reach Source, Mother Jones By VisualGK.com Real Estate In January, the U.S. Treasury Department will finally require LLCs to disclose the names of their owners. But for years, anyone could buy real estate through a shell company, with no disclosure at all. And in a 1% a world, penthouses and waterfront mansions, can help protect, or launder your fortune. A recent investigation, into one Manhattan property found, that more than 200 shell companies had purchased units in the building, including corporate fronts for 17 billionaires. Offshore Bank Account It's the simplest formula in the book. Use an anonymous trust to open a bank account in a secrecy jurisdiction. Voila! You can now do business anywhere you want, without anyone being the wiser. If I walk in, and pay cash from a Swiss bank account or a Dubai bank account, and I go buy property, in Miami or New York, or wherever, then I can do it secretly, says Gary Kalman, Executive Director of Transparency International US. And there's no requirement, that anybody has to do, any money laundering check. A free port. Free ports, tax-free zones near shipping ports, or airports, are a real thing, and a preferred tool, for the ultra-wealthy, to move or park, an expensive material asset. In Switzerland, non-residents can store their goods, for as long as they want, without paying taxes on them, and they can do it virtually anonymously, thanks to lax reporting, of their beneficial ownership requirements, that is, regulations to identify, who controls a company or asset. Free ports are especially popular destinations, for expensive art collections. The Geneva Free Port holds three times as much artwork, as the Louvre, and 1,000 Picassos alone. Art. High-value art is highly mobile, making it an ideal way, to transfer value internationally, a 2022 U.S. Treasury Department study noted. Not only is art easy to transport, it often performs better than the stock market. U.S. auction houses aren't bound, by beneficial ownership requirements, or anti-money laundering statutes, such as the Bank Secrecy Act. A 2020 Senate report called the art sector, the largest legal, unregulated market, in the United States. Acquire Citizenship to move your assets, it helps to be able to move yourself. Billionaires from Peter Deals, New Zealand, to Eric Schmidt, Cyprus, to Harlan Crow, St. Kitts, and Nevis, have all acquired citizenship in countries, with golden passport programs. The cost can reach a few million dollars, but the perks are worth it. A golden passport can help one percenters, circumvent sanctions, protect their nest egg, or, in Teal's case, take refuge from the world, when shit hits the fan. Renounce citizenship. Gaining a passport elsewhere, doesn't let you off the hook, for US taxes. But you can save big, if you give up your American one. Carnival Cruise Line's founder Ted Arison, decamped to Israel, in 1990, largely to avoid estate taxes. Facebook co-founder Eduardo Saverin, traded his U.S. passport, for citizenship in Singapore, prior to the company's 2012 IPO and then there's Oleg Tinkoff, who renounced his U.S. citizenship, in 2013, and moved to Russia, to avoid paying hundreds of millions of dollars in taxes, on a billion dollar investment windfall. The feds went after him for tax evasion anyway. Nine years, and $509 million in restitution later, Tinkoff renounced his Russian citizenship, following the invasion of Ukraine. At least he still has Cyprus.
wealth managers. To get the best returns from trusts, and LLCs, oligarchs and ultra-wealthy families, turn to boutique specialty firms. In a 2023 study, Dartmouth professor Ho Chun Herbert Chang, argued that the most efficient way to sanction oligarchs, would be to go after trusted lawyers, accountants, and bankers, who actually manage and move their riches, under the aegis of, the wealth management industry. Literally hide the asset. Italian authorities seized, sanctioned Russian businessman Alexei Mordashov's 215-foot yacht, Lady M, just days after the invasion of Ukraine. But Mordashov didn't make the same mistake, with his larger, $500 million yacht, Nord. The ship turned off its transponder, and escaped to Vladivostok, Russia. Then, after docking for a period in Hong Kong, the ship turned off its transponder again, for nearly eight months, during which time, it continued to travel the globe. When it next turned the tracking signal on, it was in the Maldives. Please like, share and subscribe. VisualGK.com